So today, what I want to talk to you quickly about is what is success? Uh, this is going to be a really, really quick video, again, to complement uh, the actual blog that I've done. Uh, but fundamentally, success is about a number of things. If we were to define it, this would be my definition. Okay, so number one, progressive. Success isn't a static thing. It doesn't stand still and not move. Um, what you consider to be success today might not be what you consider to be success in the very, very near future, and especially in the far future. Um, for us to, for many of us, to consider ourselves to be success, we've got to continue to grow, which is really, really important principle. So the next thing, realization. So success is something that we experience. Um, yes, we've got to reach the end goal, the, the, the point at which we can say we've been successful. But because it's an experience, we, we need to uh, engage with that experience and actually enjoy that experience as much as we can. Um, and this is something that people forget all the time because you know we're so concentrated on that goal that's far off that in actual fact, what we should be doing is we should be looking over what we've done in the last days, weeks, months, working towards that goal. Uh, so realisation is important, but also experience of that uh, that success road. And then the next thing is it needs to be worthwhile. So it needs to reflect our values. Success needs to reflect our values. So I always recommend people uh, recommend to people that they sit down and they actually identify what their key values are. It could be two or three things. It could be five or six. The number doesn't matter. But the point is, is you've thought about what success is and what the values that you have uh, that are going to lead you to that success. So if you value family, um, money um, and things like that, you know, you're going to work towards and you're going to consider it success in those contexts. So if there's something that's wholly opposed to those values, then even if it's something that you want to achieve, you might not necessarily feel that feeling of success when you get there because you realise that actually it doesn't reflect the values that you hold. Okay, so the next thing is predetermined. Uh, success doesn't, doesn't just happen. You know, you need to plan for success and that's one of the key things that I do with the clients that I work with. It's planning for success. It's identifying what our values are, what our goals are and then planning for that success, making sure that it's predetermined and that we're not just being a success by accident. So things aren't just happening by accident. Uh, we need to make things happen. And we need to know what we want to make happen. And then the next thing is easy. you've got to be personal. Um, if the end goal that's going to help you achieve that success isn't personal, you know, you won't feel involved with it. You won't have an emotional attachment to that ultimate goal, to that success. Uh, so again, that success may come and it may feel very sterile to you, you know, it may be a very kind of non plus response when you get there. Whereas if it's something that's personal, something that's, you know, close to your heart, um, that success is something that boosts you higher and higher and higher as you go and takes you on the next step to success. And then finally, um, getting to success, I've, I've, I've mentioned it a few times already, it's goals. Success is centred around achieving your goals. The key thing is, is you've got to have goals, you've got to work towards your goals, you've got to know what your goals are. It really is as simple as that. Now, one of the things that Paul Jeremiah said was that uh, success is the progressive realisation of worthwhile, predetermined personal goals, which nicely encapsulates the ideas that I've just spoken about there. It basically addresses all of those different points that I've mentioned. So, when you are sitting down and you're thinking about, right, so what do I consider success to be? You know, have a watch of this video. Again, read the blogs, it's on there. Um, and hopefully this gives you a good indicator of success.